What's going on, everyone? This is Kane here with Magnetic Mag. I'm sitting here with Dirty Phonics. This is Pitchin, and this is his tour manager. What was your name? I'm Charlie. This is Charlie. Uh, so, we're here, beautiful South Beach, Miami. How has your music week been going so far? Uh, brutal, um, epic, uh, no sleep. Uh, Who sleeps in Miami? I slept for 30 minutes and it was a mistake. That, yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. So yeah, no, it's been, it's been a lot of fun. Have you uh, have you played any shows yet? Uh, not officially. We got like we did like a few appearances and play like a few back to backs and stuff like that. So yeah. how was that? It was great. Yeah. And where did you play? Uh, there was the uh, Marshmallow and Friends with who was, was Marshmallow there? Yultron. No, he was no, he was going. It was Yultron. Okay. okay. Sick dope. I was sick dope uh, set. Was sick dope's set sick yeah. and dope? Sick and dope. Yeah. Sick. <laughs> so, uh, you just told us that you recently moved to LA uh, not all that long ago. How has living in LA been for you? Uh, definitely different from Paris. You cannot beat the weather. Like now. Yeah. Right. So, and yeah, it's been just great. Like everybody's there. We have a lot of friends and 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 a lot of people we work with. It's just like. The place to fucking be if you want to do like any collabs or have motivated people or stuff. But they give me that. What? Okay. Just trading glasses here. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. That's all right. Okay. Those are pretty cool glasses. Yeah, but they're okay. I mean, <laughs> they're just okay. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. how do you think the weather in LA compares to Miami? It's definitely less, way much more humid here, but I'm not gonna complain. It's fucking, it's beautiful out. So yeah, no, it's a, I'm 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 down for that. So how is the Los Angeles music scene compared to the France or Paris music scene, I should say? Sorry, what was the question? How is the Los Angeles music scene uh, compared to Paris? It's huge, man. I mean, everyone from, you know, the whole world is moving to Los Angeles right now. Uh, so, you know, all the homies from Europe, from Australia, even like, you know, Asia, like everyone's kind of like gathering in L.A. And it's awesome to have this melting pot of people that you can just like call and collaborate with and you know do stuff right there and then so i mean that you know we kind of like we're part of this move at the same time so it's yeah it's really cool to be all together there and how long have you been uh tour managing them how long i've been tour touring managing uh, dirty phonics for uh wow pretty much from the beginning i'd say like what 10 years now wow yeah. so what would you say as a tour manager since most people don't really get to uh get a little bit of inside scoop on tour managing what is the biggest challenge of being a tour manager uh, making sure the boys, <laughs> uh, making sure that the boys wake up in the morning. Uh, everyone takes their breakfast. They don't forget their keys. Uh, make sure Do you forget your keys often? Do you eat your breakfast? Do you brush your teeth? What are, we, what, is there, what are your bad habits? What are his bad habits? He's grumpy all the fucking time. You are no, 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 I, I forgot my USB drive in the, in the CD chairs all the time. Uh, <laughs> can't do that. Can't do that. So, uh, all right. He's good. He's good. He's usually good. He needs a little kickstart in the morning, but yeah. Are you a uh, are you a French press kind of guy in the morning? Uh, yeah, I can. Yeah, coffee, coffee, coffee. As long as it's black and liquid. That exactly. Yeah, he loves cream and sugar. He's yeah, cheating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Since, since I'm in the U.S., I've been doing cream and sugar. That's right. Wow. Do your do your relatives know about this? Are they upset? I mean, yeah. My mom is upset about that. <laughs> Sorry, mom. I apologize in his behalf. So, uh, any new music coming out that we should be aware of? Uh, yeah, uh, we just, so we released like a remix we did for Zezdet and Diplo. How was that one? It's called Blame, and it was out on Deadbeat, and when we released that one, it was like a month ago, maybe a little more. I would say January. Okay, uh, we just released our new EP called Night Ride on Bygore Record uh, at the end of this week, no, next week. We're doing our first release on Monster Cat. It's the collab with Bass Nectar and Raga Twins. Really excited about that. So, when did Bass Nectar hit you up or did you hit him up? Uh, dude, we started this track together like three years ago. So, I don't re even remember how that you remember. I mean, yeah. Bass Nectar. Yeah, I can't remember. Like, I mean, we, we met uh, at a bunch of shows and uh, we started being good friends because, you know, we like. Yeah, exactly. I mean, you know, we have the same, like, influences, whether you're talking, like, bass music or, like, metal backgrounds and blah, blah, blah. Whoa, 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 whoa. We're going to get into this in a second, okay, but okay, continue. Fine. And, um, and then, yeah, he came over to Paris to play a show, and he had some time before the show, so he's like, well, let's, you know, let's hook up and go to the studio, and that's when we started writing the song. So, that's three years in the making, and it's coming out soon, you said. Yeah, next week, no, in two weeks, and then the 31st. 31st. Yeah. 
March 31st, their collab with Bass Nectar on Monster Cat and Raga Twins. That'll be epic. So, you said uh, a magic word, metal bands. Yeah. Let's talk about this. Who are your favorite metal bands? Metallica. I'm sorry, I gotta say. I, really? Overall? Oh, I'm the Pantera Slayer. It's like an old school. Pantera. Oh. Yeah, we'll say Pantera. Amazing. So, what were were you into specifically? Just metal, or did you get into like hardcore, or what? Uh, There's a lot of good hardcore bands that came from Los Angeles. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yeah, but you know what? We're not familiar enough with the uh, more recent Los Angeles yeah. hardcore and metal scene. Like we're always like hitting up the homies, and be like, so you know what's happening right now? Because we've been a little detached from the metal scene for a couple of years, but um, yeah, back in the days it was all about Sepultura, Pantera, Slayer, Black Sabbath. Uh, oh, whatever you want to call it, the new Emir is fucking sick. Oh yeah, Emir. Yeah. Oh man, I used to love that band. I haven't listened to them for a while. It just came out with a new album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll have to check that out. Yeah, yeah, Emir, from from bass music to de to hardcore, amazing, right? Okay. All right, so we're gonna play a little game here. I have these, under this magic hat, these aromatherapy sticks. They're kind of like Vicks inhalers, uh, which are definitely not used for uh, bad... Oh. Yeah. Playing some Michael Jack... Okay, real quick. Favorite Michael Jackson song? Three Dollar? Billie Jean. Yeah, Amazing, right? My, is that Michael Jackson's this is the best of all time? Yeah. Yeah, I grew up on this. Like, yeah, I know, yeah. Right, yeah, so. I have these three sticks. You guys can each pick one. They're different flavors, and basically they give you energy and kind of enhance your senses, right? So the game is you're going to it, stick it in your nose, inhale it. Definitely not like you had a rave or anything, but <laughs> if you were. And then I want you to smell it and tell us what food it reminds you of. Give it a good whiff. Give it a strong oh, whiff. Oh, oh, um... That reminds me of the strawberry Hollywood chewing gum we had when we were kids. Does that count as food? Strawberry, yeah, I, I guess gum counts as food. I mean, I wouldn't swallow it, but it's bad for your, it's bad for your intestines if you swallow gum. All right, well, how about you? Oh, my God. What the fuck? Cinnamon, overdose, and mean tin. Oh, fireball. Oh, yeah, that's a fireball right here. Fireball whiskey. Yeah. Uh, so some people, alcohol is food. I mean, yeah, beer, yeah. Turtles, so that's beer has uh, has calories and carbs. It's good for you. It's good for your teeth, actually. Real fact. All right. So, <laughs> once again, sitting here with Dirty Phonics at Miami Music Week, and you're playing Ultra. No, we don't play. Ultra no, here. just kidding. They're not playing Ultra. When? Uh, what shows are you playing this weekend? Uh, Trip Bigger Burger tonight. FSOB and Monster Cat. So be sure to check them out. New track, Bass Nectar, coming out uh, in end of March, you said? March 31st. March 31st. And then Night Rag. Nectar, Ragga Twins. It's called Watch Out, and it's fucking sick. So oh, you yeah, better. You know, and we have another one. We have another record in May on DMAC record, Steve Oki record. Super stoked about this one, too. It's called Boombox. So watch out for their new Boombox track. Woo. 